This is a second video on the optimization of a chemical reactor. In this case, we have a reversible chemical reaction. A goes to B and B goes to A with isothermal conditions. And uh, we have rate constants R1 and R2, but K1 and K2 depend on temperature. And uh, we have some decision variables, which are our FB and temperature that can range, uh, flow rate of B can range between 0 and 200 and temperature between 300 and 500. And um, we have a couple uh, parameters that are going to be kept constant. The, uh, the feed concentrations of A and B and then also the flow of A is going to be held constant at 150 liters per hour. And so we want to uh, be able to optimize this reactor by changing the flow rate of B and then also changing the temperature that's inside the reactor. Okay, and uh, we saw um, from our, our prior video that uh, this was the, uh, the solution, was solution A, and um, you can look at that uh, video um, at the following uh, web address you can see there, and it'll show you a video of how to optimize this reactor in its steady state. So we want to take it one step further now. We want to actually optimize this dynamically. So let's say we're starting up from some initial conditions and uh, we want to be able to optimize the temperature and the flow rate of B to give us the best solution. Okay, so we want to maximize uh, the amount of B produced in the reactor and not just uh, leaving the reactor. And so there are some files that are available. I did a uh, URL shortener if you'd like to uh, use this one. Uh, it's just V, lowercase v, capital Y, 3, L, T, capital S. Okay, and uh, or you can visit the extended URL. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, this and it will download the file for me and it'll be CSTR Dyn Opt. Okay, so it'll be a zipped archive and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close this and go find that Okay, and it's going to be my downloads. I'll just go ahead and drag it over to my desktop. First thing you want to do is go ahead and just extract. Um, go ahead and extract the files. And okay, so we have our folder for this dynamic optimization. And we have our reactor model. Okay, now this is in uh, Notepad with uh, syntax highlighting. If you want to get syntax highlighting for AP Monitor, just type AP Monitor. Um, syntax highlighting as a search and it will show you how to get uh, syntax highlighting. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. Um, we have our parameters for our model. Um, we have everything including uh, you know, the temperature and the flow rate of B. Now those are going to be parameters but we're going to turn those as degrees of freedom within our Python or our MATLAB script. And we also have variables. Now we have an equation for every variable and we've given them some initial conditions. So in this case the concentration of A inside the reactor is equal to the concentration of A feed. So there's no B in the reactor and uh, we have uh, also flow rate out of the reactor is initially equal to flow A. So we don't have any flow B coming into the reactor and it's, it's pure uh, concentration of A. Okay, then we have just a couple other outlet uh, of B, molar outlet flow of B, and inlet molar flow rate of B, and then production B1 and B2. Okay, and I'll show you what those are a little bit later. Uh, intermediates, these are just the K1 and K2 values that are calculated as a function of temperature. And then we have um, our overall material balance, overall species balance for A, overall species balance for B. And then our inlet for B, that's the inlet molar flow rate, outlet uh, molar flow rate for B. And then we have a couple different production rate calculations. This first one is uh, outlet of B minus inlet of B. And the second one is just a little bit different. It's actually the B that's being produced instantaneously within the reaction, or within the reactor, according to the reaction rates of A and B, the reversible reactions. Now in the first case, we're just going to try to maximize the amount of B leaving the reactor. Now this is not a correct objective function statement for the problem given, but um, you know a lot of people make this mistake and just try to maximize the amount of B leaving the reactor, and then uh, we'll visit some of these other ones um, in just a second. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just open up, um, you know, I'll go ahead and open up my Python first. I'll edit with the IDLE, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and move this just over to the side here, and then I'll also open up MATLAB, okay, and we'll just compare these two, um, you know, just side by side just to see uh, the similarities between Python and MATLAB. Okay, and as MATLAB is is opening up, okay, it's going to open up the uh, the command line interface there. I'll go ahead and bring that over to the right, and then it should also have opened up the editor as well. Okay, so let me go ahead and just see the uh, editor. I may have to minimize. Oh, there it is. It was on top of the uh, Python. Okay, so. Um, the first thing that we're going to do in both of these scripts is go ahead and okay is go ahead and just um, in, in the MATLAB just go ahead and clear everything, close all the plots, and then we're going to import uh, from APM uh, the package APM, and I'll do that in Python and in MATLAB. And next we'll select the servers. Okay, so MATLAB on the right, Python on the left, and then we'll clear our application. Okay, I'm just going to line these two up just so we can see them kind of side by side here. Okay, so there we can see kind of the equivalent uh, script in MATLAB and in Python. Um, it's going to be very similar between the two. Okay, and then this is where I set up my temperature. Um, I set upper and lower limits on it, and then also um, I'm also going to set a delta maximum. Okay, so I, I in many real processes, you can't move, for example, the temperature too fast or the flow rates too fast. And so this is a, a limit on the rate of change of, of, that, uh, of that variable or the, the amount that it can move for each time step that I program. Okay, and then I, I'm going to solve this with a dynamic optimization, both in MATLAB or in, uh, in Python. Okay, and so I come down and um, solve it with uh, iMode 6. You can see some of the different options there. You have estimation or control. And then this is where I actually solve the problem right here. Okay, and, um, and then the rest of it is just going to be uh, opening up a web viewer and then displaying the results. So let me go ahead and just run this in, in MATLAB. Okay, and uh, what I need to do to run it in MATLAB is just hit the green button, the run button, or hit F5. Okay, and then once it runs, it'll open up this, this web interface. Okay, so this is for maximizing the B that was coming out of the reactor. And if I look at the, the temperature, okay, so there is the, uh, the temperature. And you can see that the temperature wanted to increase and then decrease to a steady state value of about 367.3. Okay, so that's a steady state value for the optimization. Um, and then the flow rate of B, um, it wanted to go to a maximum of 200. Okay, so we, as we discussed in the, the prior video, uh, the reason why it wants to do that um, is because we're trying to maximize the B leaving the reactor, and so it's gonna try to put in as much B into the reactor as possible. Um, but uh, that may not be a good idea because it's a reversible reaction, and if you put more B in, then it's going to speed up the rate, uh, or the, uh, the molar uh, uh, consumption rate of B and converting it to A. So we're actually gonna be losing uh, some more B by feeding B into the reactor. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and just change our optimization problem then. I'm gonna come here to the, the APM file and go ahead and just comment out um, this. And, uh, or, or what I could do is I could also subtract uh, the B coming in. So CB feed times FB, okay? And that is equivalent to what I had set up here for production rate of B1. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that, um, and then I'll just go ahead and run the Python instead this time, and I'll just show you that it'll get equivalent uh, results here. Okay, so successful solution. And uh, now it's going to do something just a little bit different with the temperature. Okay, it's still going to try to spike up, okay, and convert all of that A to B.
very quickly and then uh, reach a steady state value of 404. Okay, and then uh, let's look at uh, B in this case. Um, so if I select the plot for B, it's just going to stay at zero. Okay, so it's not going to add any B to the reactor because it's trying to favor the production rate of B and try to keep the concentration of A as high as possible to speed that uh, reaction and not add any B to the reactor. Okay, and then the final one, um, you know, the final option there is production B1. And, um, you know, this is actually maximizing the amount of B that's produced in the reactor, not just um, uh, the difference between the inlet and the outlet. Now, in this case, it's actually going to be uh, the same answer as before. I'll just solve this with MATLAB. You can solve it with MATLAB or Python. Okay, and um, if I come here to uh, temperature, okay, so that was actually a little different solution. <laughs> so let's see what happened here. This is this is kind of interesting. I didn't expect this answer. Um, let's look at the temperature. Okay, so it said that you can oscillate and actually get a better solution. Let's let's check this out. This is kind of interesting. I'm, I'm production rate of B. Okay, so it looks like it's spiking up at these values, 71, 65. Well, okay, so this is kind of interesting. Uh, I didn't expect this to happen, but I actually found a, an optimal solution, okay, by um, actually oscillating the temperature instead of just keeping it at a steady state value. Okay, so um, um, a little bit different solution because it said I want to maximize the production rate of B in the reactor, not just the difference between B coming in and B leaving. Okay, so uh, that concludes uh, this tutorial. And um, so just uh, if you'd like to get additional files, um, just come to uh, apmonitor.com and you'll see the uh, Mat the MATLAB and the Python interface. Okay, so this is the Python interface. And uh, if you select this, it'll take you to this uh, screen where you can download. Um, you can download Python. And if you go, or the, or the Python interface, and then this one is the uh, MATLAB interface. And then you can download uh, the MATLAB libraries uh, to be able to solve these problems. Okay, so that um, that concludes uh, this tutorial on dynamic optimization with AP Monitor.